Hey guys, in this video I'm going to test this active balancer which is 4S 5 amp version and I did test similar product before and it did great job of uh, balancing cells but in, in today's video I want to see how many actual amps it can push in or out from a battery. I've got this unit from AliExpress and here's a web page for this. Uh, in the title we see that this is 5 amp balancer, 4S configuration for lithium iron phosphate and lithium ion batteries. If we scroll down to specification, we can read that uh, current 1.5 equalization current. This is first mention about current and uh, right here is a second mention of current. The balance current is 0 to 1.2 amps. So this is confusing me a little bit, but we're going to test to see if this can push 5 amps in or out. For test equipment, I'm going to use two ammeters, which is going to be connected between active balancer and cells, so we can visually see how many amps it's pushing in or out. Also, I'm going to use four lithium iron phosphate batteries, and uh, this is simple battery monitor where we can see individual cell voltage and voltage difference across cells. Now let me quickly to assemble all of this together and we will start our tests. Okay, and now all parts connected together. Uh, first ammeter connected to cell number one and second connected to cell number four. If we look at cell monitor, we can see that uh, cell number four is the highest charged cell and we have 109 millivolts voltage difference. And if we look at uh, ammeter that connected to cell number four, we can see that we are taking from this cell about 100 milliamps. And now I'm going to simulate multiple situations to see how this active balancer works. So first step, I'm going to attach load to cell number four to actually see if we're pushing any amps out of this cell. So when I touch in load, I'm decreasing cell voltage, which is causing uh, voltage difference to drop and active balancer decreasing this current balancing almost to zero. You can see right now on ammeter when I apply load, I'm decreasing voltage difference and the ammeter shows almost zero amps. Now let's try to increase voltage difference by applying load from cell number one to cell number three and uh, let's see how many amps active balancer is going to push. So we have 200 millivolts voltage difference and on ammeter we are reading anywhere between four and five hundred milliamps. And right now we have 125 millivolts voltage difference and we're getting about 100 milliamps balancing current. And now I'm going to increase voltage difference by charging cell number four. And just to confirm that we can get four to 500 milliamps from balancer. So I'm attaching power supply to cell number four and charging this with 5.3 amps. And at this point we have about 170, 170 millivolts voltage difference and our balancing current is about 450, 500 milliamps. So based on this information, we can get 500 milliamps balancing current out of this balancer in real life. Because if, if I'm gonna have 200 millivolts plus voltage difference in pack, that means I need to find defective cell and replace this because 200 millivolts is a huge voltage difference in pack. And now I'm disconnecting uh, active balancer from cell number four and connecting this to power supply. So I want to simulate uh, some conditions which is highly unlikely is going to happen in real life when voltage difference is going to be over 200 millivolts. And we will see what is the capability of this active balancer if we're going to increase voltage difference. Also, I'm going to discharge cell 1, 2 and 3 to 2.5 volts to have um, uh, to test maximum voltage difference. So here's I'm discharging cell number 1 and then 2 and 3. 
okay a few minutes later we can see that all cells at 2.5 volts with 16 millivolts voltage difference and now i'm going to increase voltage on a power supply so amps on maximum and we have four volts um, as a cell number four five volts so i'm trying to increase voltage difference up to 2.3 volts and only 87 milliamps flowing out of power supply but looks like active balancer at this point doesn't work so we have 2.16 volts voltage difference and uh, looking at m meters i don't see any amps flowing through balancer possibly it's happening because cell voltage is too low for active balancer to start so i'm adding second charger and i'm going to charge cell one two and three to higher voltages and let's see if it's going to help to activate active balancer And as soon as pack voltage reached 12.2 volts, active balancer activated. And you can see right now we are pushing 3.4 amps through active balancer. And now I'm going to see what is the voltage difference should be in a pack to get 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 amps of uh, balancing current. To get one amp, we need to have 230 millivolts of voltage difference in pack. Two amps, 475 millivolts. Three amps, 715 millivolts. Four amps, 970 millivolts. And to get full capacity for this balancer 5 amp we need to have 1.22 volts difference in our pack okay guys that's all tests i want to perform for this active balancer it definitely works it definitely can do 5 amps with a huge asterisk with a huge condition when it can do 5 amps let me know if you think it works as a per specification and as always thank you for watching and see you later